Hello guys, welcome to 102 Design. Today we will be learning how to use the Locodify tool in Photoshop. So the first thing to do is, is to open the file or the document you want to apply the Locodify effect on. Once it is opened, you can actually duplicate the file by clicking Ctrl J and having to pick the one on top as the one you have to use the liquid fire filter on. Now you go to your ribbon, you pick filters. From the drop down, you use you click on liquidify, liquidify. So you have to wait till it it opens. It is reading mesh data. Since this didn't open the liquidify, the liquidify, you have to go to the layer. You right click and convert the smart object. And you go back to the filters. You pick liquidify. This will open up the document and it will process. So let's just wait. Okay, the process is over. Now we are in the liquify win windows. On the left roll, you have the forward wrap tool, you have the reconstruct tool. You have the smooth tool, you have the truly clockwise tool, you have the poker tool, you have the blur tool, the push left tool, freeze marks tool, and a host of um, a few other um, tools that you can use that are very effective. So now we we'll, um, simply have to do this. Now to increase the size of your um, forward wrap tool, which is one of the um, the most important tool here, you can use the uh, bracket to increase the um, the size of this tool and to decrease it. To decrease it, you can also go to this panel here which I do not often use. You can use this to um, increase and decrease the size of this brush. Okay, let me use this. The density is 50, that is nice. The pressure is 100, nice. Okay, now let us um, see what these tools on the left are used for. First of all, this is the zoom tool. With the zoom tool, you can press it with the zoom in and zoom out. The hand tool, when picked, is used for moving the image on the roll. This is the first tool. Okay, first tool requires hardware acceleration. Check your performance preferences and verify that you use graphic processor is enabled. I disabled it without me dis disabling the um, use graphics processor. My Lugify won't open. Maybe later I will make a video about that. Here is Freeze Max 2. With this Freeze Max 2, you can mark out areas of an image that you do not want do not want the forward wrap to to affect when you are kind of um, the, um, constructing the size, the shape of the image you want. So basically, you can call this a pen, a lock pen, or we can call this an unlock eraser. With this, you can clean out this thing we did. Okay, now let me show you this. I have this forward wrap tool. 
now let me try to um, alter the structure of this lady on the image as you can see with this I have equally drawn the background but if I use this um, freeze max tool and draw this is just like setting a barrier now let us pick the forward wrap tool once this forward wrap tool is picked as you can see we are only shifting and readjusting, readjusting the um, parts of this image that are outside of this um, red mark if we still go this way the one by this side won't be affected with whatever we are doing so that is it you use this to the tool tool to erase this that we did this is the poker let us see what this poker tool is used okay the poker tool which is the um, fifth tool on the roll you can use this tool to uh, kind of depress or push in the parts of the image okay let's just see what this does okay now i have chosen the poker tool i have placed it on this part of the image as you can see it is drastically unfolding in this the face of this lady and this blow tool blue tool here you can use it to kind of enhance or make the part of an image bigger okay, let's just use this on the eye of this lady can you see the eye is quite big this is it um, okay so the most important tool in this work frame is the forward wrap tool the poker tool the blood tool the freeze max tool this tool and yeah they are the most important so um let's just head on to editing this image of this beautiful lady okay i have to use the um free marks to to mark out the parts of the body that that i do not want to get altered with what i am doing okay i just want the background of this image to remain on all that so this it's just like making a selection okay now we go to the forward wrap tool you can actually decrease the size of this with the brackets keys on your keyboard or you go to this panel here the property panel you can increase and decrease increase the density and pressure so with this i have selected now i will push in the belly a bit you can see just a little let us make it look natural i'm using this towel to to erase I can actually draw again. Yeah. Okay. Let me use this tool, forward drop tool. We just want to get this um 
the curvy booty and to give her a more would I say feminine shape you can actually um, push up the boot yeah You have to match this area. Just to give a dark curvy waist that everyone wants, every lady wants, every lady wants this. Seriously, every lady wants this. Okay, so you can see this is um, forming, really forming. It is becoming marvelous. Okay, let us just zoom. I think the tar we need to kind of slim it, slim it down to make this look more natural. You can pull up the breast a little. Okay, with that, you have to use this. It adds as an eraser for the liquefy. And now, once you are through with your um, liquefying this image, you press OK. You can actually preview. This is the before, and here is the after. It does not really look perfect because this is for a tutorial. One of the eye is not quite um, appreciating the other, so we have to work on it. Okay, later. You can actually use the um, the blood tool to um, increase the shape of the mouth and give her um, some little lips. Whatsoever. Now you have to preview. This is it. You can see here. We really need um, some corrections, which I will do um, in a preview in a um, in the next video. Okay, so that is it for um, local file two. So um, head on subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon to get notified. Thank you for watching.